Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. Let's get ready to decide the future of education in Florum. Okay, so for my setup here, I don't think I need to make any additional changes for you, though Eye of the Wolf will be very useful for both uh, magic and physical attacking job classes. In fact, I would like to give that to Adia as well there. It boosts your physical and magical attack stats by 25% each. So that's pretty nice. Not so good in random battles when you're fighting consecutive battles there, but very useful for boss time. Okay, and then let's see, we got warfare going there. Everything else is good there with Magnolia. Yeah, I don't need to use any Catmancy. We'll just get ready to do some examining. But I basically just want her to use her uh, battle item set up here. So let's see, waste not, triple, well, we don't need precog. So why don't we give her triple wheel so I can equip another rod of fire to further boost her battle item damage a little bit there. But otherwise, everything else is good. Let's see, with Tiz, yeah, we want him on miscellany there. But actually, I want to make him into a thief because... We're going to have an item that I would like to steal there, and I'd like to get multiples of them. Okay, so let's see. I want to boost his physical attack as much as I can for mugging, though I'm really not counting on him for damage that much. I mean, I might as well get what I, what I can out of it, but it's not an extraordinary priority there. Okay, so we got all that. Let's see what we can do for equipment. Now, I actually want to equip the weaker Rod of Fire instead of the Lilith Rod here, purely for the fire damage boost there that we'll get out of it. But otherwise, yeah, I think we're fine there. I don't want to equip anything else. Uh, let's see. Okay, so then we got Kukri's for Idea as a ninja. I don't think I need to make any changes there. And then, okay, so with Magnolia, I actually want her to equip Rods of Fire instead of just a knife and shield. We're not really worried about defense here, although I am going to equip a Vambrace on her, even though I don't really care about it. I just have nothing better to equip on her. And then with Tiz, let's get you on the Angel's Bow that we just got for a little extra damage. I suppose it could charm an enemy, though I don't really care about that. I just want a, a high, or yeah, a high dexterity weapon for Tiz to use there as a thief. And then might as well equip a katana, just for purely for the crit boost there. See, armor is good, and yeah, let's give you the thief's gloves. I think that ought to be good enough there. Let me see what my agility is looking like. Because I want to make sure that Magnolia is able to do everything that I want before it gets to use turn there, being the slowest there. But I think we're good. I don't think we need to rearrange, or I don't think we need to use a cottage or anything to get back up to full there. I mean, we're already at full HP. That'll be more than good enough for my needs. Time to make up. Decision on education. Shall we separate boys and girls in the new school or not? Let's have an out of you. No dwindling. We've already been through this cutscene before. But uh, yeah, so for what I'm going to be doing here is let's choose this option first. But this is not what I'm going to be doing long term as far as the job asterisk that I want to acquire. The new school in Florum should be co-educational. Yeah, exactly. Not that we really have that many boys in Florum. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And your reasons, hmm? Florum has finally recognized the equality of the sexes and been reborn as a nation where men and women live together in harmony. Hey! Tradition is all well and good, but even the Sacred Flower Festival has changed. Why shouldn't its schools be any diff- I object, Superintendent Idia Lee. What the? You didn't even let me finish. Ha ha. Whoa. You dare stomp on the hopes and dreams of my loyal subordinate, Idia? And to argue in favor of co-education, no less. Why not? 
You would sully the elegant traditions of this great nation in the name of some passing fad. You're a disgrace to educators everywhere. I'm not an educator anywhere. That's what you wanted me to say, right, Veeling? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I don't really care for the Valkyrie Asterix, though I'll show what I can with it. But, yeah, it's just not really a good job class, in, given the inherent nature of the mechanics of the game. But, uh, yeah, we'll definitely go forward with this just to show it off. So you want to fight, Einheria? I can't even pretend to be surprised. Yeah, I've played this JRPG before. I must say, I saw this coming as well. <laughs> Can't we just get this over with? <laughs> ah, tis. <laughs> Finally, we cross blades again, Idia. Prepare yourself for a crushing defeat. Well, I'm prepared for boss time. Holder of the Valkyrie Asterisk and mightiest of the Venus Sisters. Uh oh. You stand before Einheri of Venus. For boss time! Okay, so with you, since I don't have good measure equipped now, I'm going to just go with heat and rain and use that twice with him. I'm not going to be using special moves anymore because we really don't need it for the damage or the, the buffs. We'll be able to get the job done regardless. But uh, okay, so with Adia... Let's see, I would like to use one trample on Miss Veeling and then the others on Anharia because she has a lot more HP. Then with Magnolia, I want her to finish off Miss Veeling with a few of those bomb arms for damage. And then what else do we got? Okay, so with Tiz, then why don't you examine Anharia, mug her... And then go with a Godspeed Strike for a little bit of extra damage there. I don't have enough PP to mimic it, but I'll take what I can get. Let's see what we can do here. So yeah, she's got a lot more HP. And we steal Silver Glaze, another upgrade to Spears. Yeah, look at that damage out of Adia. Yeah, I'll only need two Bomb Arms to... Oh, no, I still need three, right? Yeah! Uh, forgive me, my sisters. Ha ha! Well, we've already beaten both of them, didn't I? But in any case, we got her! Hooray! Ooh, and a potion, too. Or X potion. Nice! But for defeating her, we get... The Valkyrie Asterisk, which is basically like Dragon Knights. They jump up in the air and then come down sometime later, by which time I would have already run, won the battle anyway, so there's really not much of a point. Now, she does have... Well, actually, I'll just go over the abilities uh, once we get through all this, and then we'll see. <sighs> You've grown strong. We will leave this place. Well, yeah, I had to grind the levels from level one all over again. Dry those tears. There are still a great many things you can do for this nation. Yeah, I mean, you're still going to have girls to teach. Let us find another cause together. I will always stand by your side, Rhoda. Duh. Ryla? <laughs> I thought it was Rhea. Rhea? Rhea Veeling? Well, you don't look that revealing to me. Right. Now, farewell, Idia. Oh, you're just going to leave her behind? Okay. Wasn't that... Hmm? Your opponent, yes. Or your former opponent. We've just ruled in favor of your co-education proposal. Hooray! T truly? But Miss Veeling will also be teaching at the new school, won't she? Sure, you'll have b a bunch of teachers. Yes, 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 naturally. She's a perfectly capable teacher, after all. We would not exclude her due to petty politics. Why, that's wonderful. 
To tell you the truth, I've always considered her awfully... Revealing? Yes, yes, I could tell it at a glance. Now zip those lips. Ah, okay. Hurry and go running after her. Run, run, run. You might still win her heart. Yes, I believe in you. Now off you go. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess it is co-educational after all. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <sighs> what are you so sad about? What's the matter, Idia? I don't know. This just kind of brought it home, you know? There are so many sides to every story. Well, we've only had two up to this point in the game. Like, every one of them is just two. Yes, yes. How much you've learned. Why, my naming you superintendent was clearly a stroke of genius. Or dumb luck. Superintendent, huh? Moving up in the world, aren't we, idiot? Something like that. Not ready to be executive produce yet, but no, nah, that's another game, viewers. To tell the truth, I'm thinking of giving up on the whole bone setter thing myself. Maybe even becoming a teacher or something. Hey, hey well, you could be a gym teacher, I guess. <laughs> Teaching what exactly? You do know that you need a license to teach, don't you? Well, he's got an asterisk. A license? Of course I got one of those. You do? No, he was just messing with you. Master Lair is one of the world's foremost martial artists with certificates in every major fighting style, not to mention... Oh, really? A license to teach 22 fields of medicine, including orthodox qigong, chiropractic, acupuncture, moxibustion... Wow. Say what? Say what? Yes, yes, yes! A star instructor like you would surely attract promising students from around the world! Especially when they can teleport from one continent to another. What do you say? Worth a try, wouldn't you agree? I don't know. I did tell Holly to come open a clinic with me. Oh, yeah. What happened to her? And recruiting students and all? That sounds like a royal pain. Oh, well, maybe. No, no, no! No pain, no gain! What have you ever gained without pain? Nothing! That's what... Well, I would think you would know all about that. <laughs> that mouth of yours! I think my ears are bleeding! Catch you later, you crazy old lady! Uh... Okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what an odd thing to say! Why, the Chancellor's only 40 years of age. Middle-aged, yes, but not old by any stretch of... Well, yeah, I would d beg to differ on that. Primo! Zip those lips. <laughs> but, all oh, right, so, uh... Oh, I guess I got no music here. Huh. Okay, never mind then. But let's see what we got here for defeating I'm Harry there. What do we got here? So, Miss Rhea Veeling. Well, at least they gave her a unique uh, bestiary entry, even though she wasn't the boss. But I guess we get a little more than we did with all the other minions that, you know, re weren't really anything unique or anything like that. Oh, yeah, I mean, she keeps an eye on things here. I mean, I would think she... I, I, if I recall correctly, I think she was from Eternia. Like, she grew up there, not just she worked there or something. Oh, yeah, I suppose you would have to interview teachers or something or other. Oh, I suppose something like that. What? Okay, and then for Angharia's bestiary entry, what do we get here? Yeah, she's got a silly dress on or something with her asterisk going on there. Well, of course she could rise to the top. She can jump pretty high, too. Oh, yeah, I suppose she was kind of a older sister and rather uh, rational 
I guess. That's not really saying a whole lot compared to her other sisters. But, okay. What do you mean, Alfred? You mean, like, uh, what was it, Hughes Butler? Or Caretaker? Whatever. Something or other. But, yeah, we needed to take her down here. But, uh, okay, so we got that. Let's see what we actually would get out of the Valkyrie job class, though. So we still have Crescent Moon, just like the first game there. And it's basically the same thing as the Blast Spellcraft, but it's a physical attack and it costs BP to use there. So, like, if you're fighting large groups of enemies where you have, like, three or more enemies, Crescent Moon would be better because you won't lose uh, damage with more and more and more targets. It's always the same. But if you're fighting, like, one or two enemies, then... Uh, what is it? Using... Where is it? Yeah, using Sidewinder would be better than... So it depends on the situation. I don't really care for that too much either way, but I might use it, depending on a situation. But uh, let's see. She also gets Spear Lore, though. I don't really care about Spears that much, enough to learn it. By the time that it might be relevant, I'll already be so obscenely overpowered it won't matter what weapon types I'm using. Let's see. The, the main ability that I would really like to get is pierce default there so that way i don't need to use uh what is it i think it was condor or whatever that shamanism ability was to let you pierce default this just does it automatically though it does of course cost uh, a support slot so maybe depending on the situation i might want to use it but the thing is at this point there's only there's very few enemies remaining now that actually do default. So, yeah, I don't really see the need to go out of my way to get that now. Maybe if we got Valkyrie like a chapter or two ago, maybe then she would have been more useful. But otherwise, eh, it doesn't really add anything to what I'm already doing there. So, I'm not going to be using that job class long term, but you could if you wanted. Uh, the alternative, though, with Monk is not that not that much better, but it is a little better and will actually be useful, so I'm going to go with that instead. But otherwise, let's see, let me just double check everything. Okay, yeah, this is after I already rearranged my setup here. And by the way, the only reason I'm using fire elemental damage is purely because of the fire rods not because of like any elemental weakness or anything like that we don't need to inflict weaknesses anymore shall we separate boys and girls in the new school or not let's have it out of you no dwelling. but uh yeah this time let's go vote for separate schooling purely for practical reasons Worms new school should keep students separated by gender Purely for what I'm going to, uh, the reward that I'm going to get out of this decision. Mm -hmm. And your reasons? Hmm? It's true that Florum has established an equal rights law. It has? Men and women can both make their homes here. Ah, oh, okay. And the Sacred Flower Festival isn't just some beauty contest for girls anymore. Now both genders can compete with their inner beauty. Well, keep on believing that. Yes, yes, yes! And doesn't all this support the idea of boys and girls learning together? It's not that simple. Change takes time. You can't just throw away years of tradition like yesterday's leftovers. Why not? Look, Florum used to be a haven for women and women alone. Then the duchy showed up and the nation was thrown into chaos. What? Finally, that ugly period of history is over and peaceful days have returned. Florum can't afford to... Heaven, you say? Hmm? A future where boys and girls study together, laughing and crying and falling in and out of love. That would be true, Heaven! Well, whatever works for you. That was quick. I'm still talking here, okay? Yeah, I gotta make my speech! What was that? Huh? You looking for a fight? Or maybe a fight's looking for you? Oh, what do you mean? Mr. Lear, did you hear what she just said? What about it? 
Superintendent Lee is proposing that the new school should be segregated by gender. Oh. She did now? Well, that's a bad thing, right? <laughs> he doesn't even care. Of course it's a bad thing. If boys and girls aren't allowed to study together, then, then... Then what? Then all the awesome manly words like burning and passion and pecs will be cut from the school's name. I don't see how that's relevant, but okay. What? You'd go that far? Oh, that's low, even for a girl. <laughs> yes, it is, isn't it? Lower than low. Um, okay. That's why we have to stop her, even if it comes to fisticuffs. Oh, well, you would know all about that. Sounds about right to me. But, uh, yeah, I would like to pick up the monk asterisk. Even though it's not nearly as good as in the first game, but it still could be useful here. So, yeah, vote for tradition. All right, then. But I'm putting my money on these muscles right here. Yeah. For boss time! I'm the holder of the monk asterisk! You got that? Ferris Lair! Here to wipe the floor with ya! Yeah! For boss time! Okay, so with these two guys, yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna do the same thing that I did before there. Heat rain, since by the time it gets around to use turn, there's only going to be Barris left over there. Then with the deal, one hit on the minion there, and then everything else on Barris. Let's see. With Magnolia, yeah, let's make sure to, uh, let's see, yeah, examine Mr. Tracksuit and get a few bomb arms in there. Maybe I could get a waste knot or two while throwing those. And then, let's see, with Tiz, yeah, let's examine Barris. Let's see, I want to mug an item from him. And then get Godspeed Strike. And that should be good. There, we got Bare Knuckle from him, the next upgrade, which I'm going to be using pretty soon, if not right away. Okay, so, hmm, am I going to have enough to kill both of them? No, I'm going to be a little short. Oh, or not. You scrawny little things beat me. Ha uh ha. -huh. I, I mean, I knew that would work. I mean, even, even if it didn't, I mean, we still had you. He didn't even get his turn. No special moves needed at all. So, yeah, I'm probably not going to be using special moves for quite some time. Ooh, two X potions. Nice. And for defeating them, we get the Monk Asterisk. It's not so much that Monk it got like nerfed or anything like that. It's just that we have so many better options than Monk, especially in the long run. But for now, it could be a little useful. I lost impossible. Uh, 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 best two out of three, huh? We already fought you, like, what, six or seven times? Or something before? Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, come on. Why well, you gotta be so cruel, idiot? Well, you wanted to die by frontal assault? Now you can. Yes, yes, yes. Very cruel, very cold, and very commonplace. That she is. Yes, yes. Are you insulting or complimenting me? <laughs> Fine then. We're out of here. Come on, uh, uh, Betty. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? It's sweaty. Sweaty drag suit. Yeah, I got it. See you around, idiot. Thank you for not killing me. Sorry? Was that? What was that? Oh, my, my, my! You're the one in favor of separate education for boys and girls, aren't you? Something like that. Oh, I've heard all about your stance from Superintendent Lee here. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Oh, yeah, I suppose you wouldn't have met yet, huh? 
Your ideals have thoroughly impressed me. Oh, yes, so splendid. Splendid ideals. I'm quite committed to establishing Florum's new school with the genders divided, as nature intended. Whatever you say. I can't thank you enough, ma'am. And, um, what of Mr. Tracksuit? Will he be joining the faculty as well? Um, I guess maybe for the boys. Ah, I see. Oh, yes, I do. It's only natural. <laughs> yes, it is. All that time fighting with each other, passions high as you fought for your ideals. Love blooms on the battlefield. <laughs> oh, what a joy. I'm thinking of uh, something else there, but whatever works for you. Don't let the good ones get away, my girl. Go running to his side right now. Go, go, go. I thought you were the one who did the hiring. Y yes ma'am! Well, I guess she's happy. Mm, do you think I chose... The right side? I'd say so. I mean, look at all the happy faces around us. What happy faces?! Yeah. Oh. I guess so. Oh, you're still standing there. I'd say you have a future in education, Idia. Perhaps I should come work at this new school of yours. Well, I guess even the girls are going to need a cheerleader. Or a gym teacher. Don't you start teasing me, too. Ha uh ha. -huh. My tenure as interim superintendent ends today. Besides, what would you even teach? Oh. Um, uh, sticking people with a spear? Where to begin? Physics, ballistics, aerodynamics. All the subjects necessary for taking to the air and descending with force on an unsuspecting foe. And brutally assassinating people. Whoa, that's some pretty heavy stuff. And you expected any less of me? No, I suppose not. I expected something different. <laughs> <clears throat> I have a message here for Miss Anheria Venus. We do? A message? From whom? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's just hear it. What's going on? Yes, 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 she says it doesn't matter. So let's hear it, Prima. Out loud, if you would. Yes, ma'am. Allow me. What do we got? Dear Anheria, I hope this letter finds you well. I must say your request has moved me. I would be delighted to have you as a student. What request? I will instruct you in the womanly arts of flower arranging, tea ceremony, cooking, and of course how to manage a household of your own. Oh. Well, yeah, I suppose you're in charge. <laughs> uh, what? Huh? Oh, that's quite enough. Consider the message delivered. No need to read any further. Uh, I would, I could stand to hear a little more. Worry not. I promise that with time, we will make you into the kind of woman that any man would be proud to marry. Yours truly, the Matriarch of Florum. Uh, sure. Wait, when you said you were here for your training... Oh, uh, that kind of training, yeah, I suppose. Yes, yes, indeed! It takes true training to be the perfect bride. You mustn't neglect your feminine side. Well, she's got the white dress going. Don't you worry about a thing, dear. I believe in you. Yes, yes, yes! Even you can find a husband someday. Oh! <laughs> 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 I'm here, yo, wait! Maybe you should let her go. She's gone. After all, an honorable warrior knows when to show mercy to the defeated. Uh, okay. But, uh, all right, so for defeating her, we got the monk, at, or defeating Barris, we got the monk asterisk that I'm going to want to put to use right away. So let's see what we got out of that. So, yeah, really the big thing that I care about is knuckle lore because, well, I'm sure you've noticed, a problem for us has often been dealing with inorganic enemies, and I'm almost done with Charioteer for Tiz. And I'm going to need some help there to deal with those inorganic enemies. So, Knuckle Lore will really help out with that a lot. But the other stuff, not really 
that interested in. I mean, we've got Pressure Point. I guess I could use that with Mimic, but I've already got a whole bunch of uh, BP attacks where, like, what was that? Like, Godspeed Strike or... Uh, what was that? With the... The Charioteer. Wanton Destruction there. We really don't need another BP attack for a boss destroyer there. And besides, I'm going to have even better things to do eventually. But for now, I really just want Monk for Knuckle Lore. It's cheap, easy to learn, and won't even disrupt what I'm doing long term anyway. So yeah, why don't we get that going for the two of you. And actually, yeah, why don't we... Uh... Oh, well, you have, we got the bestiary entries that we could take a look at. So let's see. Trick suits! There you go. Yeah, I don't know why he would come here. You have a directory? Ha uh ha. -huh. But, okay. Well, not that much background for him. Simple guy, simple school, I guess. And let's see, we also got... Yeah, Ferris. Whoa, nice artwork there. Yeah, I, I didn't think we ever saw... Idea and Barris interact, or at least not in the prologue. Yeah, a wrestler will go with that. Well, someone's gotta do the job. Uh, what was that? I have no idea what you guys are talking about there. Oh, well, wasn't everywhere Crystalis lands back then? I don't know. Well, whatever works for him, I guess. But, yeah, we had to knock him down a peg, I guess. But, uh, okay, so we got all that. Let's get out of here. Can I even use a teleport stone? Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, why don't we... Get out of here, then. Let's see. What do I got with the encounter rate? Okay. Why don't we make a pit stop over here? And I want to... Well, not only do I want to rest up, I also want to change my setup with some actual background music going. Okay. So, for you... Let's see. Yeah, we've still got quite a bit of work to do for with him on... White mage. So, let's see. For him, I'm just gonna... Well, hold on. Yeah, let's uh, switch back to Spellcraft and Good Measures, since I'm not gonna be using Eye of the Wolf. Get that going on him. That'll be good enough for quite some time. And then, let's see. With Adia, yeah, we want her as a, a monk there. Let's see. Okay, so we want... Well, I would like to have JP up coming coming up here in a moment. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we get a little... I'm just thinking if I want to use... Yeah, I want to use uh, Whisker Sense eventually. So let's go Physical, Quad, and Whisker Sense. That ought to be good enough for you. Let's see. Magnolia, she's still got a bit of work to do. Oh, yeah, she's going to be there for a while. I really just want to learn items for all. But until then... Okay, so... Let's see. I think I'm just going to keep her on her battle item setup. Yeah, we might as well just leave that alone there. And then Tiz. Yeah, I just want him as a, a monk to learn knuckle lore there. Okay, so let's go with... Let's see, yeah, just basically the uh, physical attack boosting stuff. 
Yeah, yeah, I think I'll just leave that alone there. Physical, triple. Might as well. Oh, wait, no, I need precog there. Because I don't have that on anyone else. I mean, I suppose I could give precog to Magnolia instead of maybe triple wheel. That's not really an extraordinarily high priority. Well, I'll think about it when we go to the next dungeon. For now. No, we should give you precog there because there's not really a ton of enemies that are weak to fire. So then you'll just go, I guess, with uh, speed up or something. Oh, maybe a lore ability or something. Well, let's see what we got here with the setup first, and then I'll think about that a little more. But, uh, okay, so, as a monk, we have maximum proficiency with knuckles, so definitely go with the bare knuckles for you. And then, why don't we go with a couple Kikus there? I don't really care about the attack power I get out of it. I just want a little bit of a crit boost there for you. We'll keep you on the power braces, though, for later. And then, yeah, go on defense there for Magnolia. Everything else, I think, is good. And then Tiz, basically the same thing. That I got with Idea, though I don't have quad lore yet. So we'll just have to stick with what we got. Actually, you know what? Why don't we give you the black belt and give the power braces over to Tiz. He could use the help a bit more. And I want to keep my crit rate boosted as much as I can there. But otherwise, okay, we got all that. I think we're good to go. So let's uh, rest up here. But I want it to stay nighttime for now. Though eventually I'll want to make it daytime for the new terrain that we'll be crossing soon. But uh, okay, so yeah, just rest up on the tiger there. And then take the helm. Get back on the land. Oh yeah, I should enable autosave now that we are done with all that. But, uh, yeah, I probably should have saved before going on the land. But, okay, so we got all that taken care of. Let's head back to Florum, then. All right, uh, one change that I needed to make to my setup, uh, yeah, equip warfare on Tiz, but I just did that off-screen there and got a bunch of consecutive battles, but still got a little ways to go here. Let's see if we can get in one more battle before turning in. Alright, and after that battle, we learned Knuckle Lore for Tiz and Idea there. That's pretty nice. So yeah, why don't we uh, head on inside and make some preparations. Now, I would actually like to buy uh, a few more of those heavy axes because we're going to be running into some plant-type enemies coming up here. That'll be enough for my needs. And then, okay, so with you, let's see, I think I'm just going to leave him alone there with his setup. Yeah, that'll be fine. With Adia, I would like to make her into a Catmancer this time, partially because uh, they have maximum proficiency with axes, but also because I do want to master the job class for her in the long run. Maybe I should have done that after I learned a dual wield for Ninja, but either way, I mean, I don't have a lot to work on for her, so she'll be fine. Okay, then, yeah, I want to go physical, quad, whisker sense. Yeah, that'll be good for you. Let's see, Magnolia. Well, we're getting there. Not quite where I would like to be, but we're working on it. Okay, so let's put her on Miscellany, since we're going to be finding some new enemies coming up here. And I really don't care about her secondary job command that much. But otherwise, yeah, Waste Knot. Let's see, JP, Triple. Well, actually, I don't need Triple Wield right now. But, uh, yeah, we'll just go with Precog there. That'll be good for you. Okay, and then Tiz, well, while we're on the overworld, I would like to focus more 
on Thief for stealing some stuff. Let's see. I do want to keep working on Charioteer, though. Let's see. I think I'll go with Charioteer because I'm probably not going to encounter as many uh, Imperial Medics or whichever ones we're fighting now. Let me see how my money's looking after I sell some stuff. And buy some stuff, too. Let's see. So we should have a whole bunch of extra alarm earrings. But I want to hold on to one of them, at least. And then, yeah, I'm going to need to buy quite a few more items here. We used a lot of battle items in the ruins there. But, yeah, just go up to 40 for the weaker ones. Five for the stronger ones. Yeah, we used all those Pantheon's wraths there. Holy cow. Lots of those Aqua Lanterns. Okay, then let's see. Yeah, we'll get some more Wind Elemental stuff. Although, well, I think there is an enemy that's weak to Wind coming up here. Okay, that ought to be good enough. Yeah, our money's looking all right. So, yeah, I'm, now I don't need to make him into a thief for the overworld stuff. Let me double check the the enemy formations that we got coming up here. Because I'm going to be wanting to fight during the day now to meet up with some other enemies that we couldn't before. Whether it was day or night. Because we're going to be in some different terrain. So, let's see. Yeah, we're not going to encounter medics as often. So why don't we just leave you as, or, well, turn your back into a uh, charioteer there. I want to knock that out before we finish the next dungeon. So yeah, go with miscellany there. Let's see, for the overworld, I could probably go with knuckle lore, although we're not going to encounter as many uh, inorganic enemies where I'm going next. But whatever we want to do will probably be fine. But, uh, okay, so for support skills, let's see, JP, attack, let's see, triple. Eventually, I am going to want attack item amp. Actually, I think I would want that right now. Yeah, why don't we go with that right now? And then, for now, I'm going to go with knuckle lore. But eventually, I'll probably want to equip katana lore or maybe tinker with my setup a little bit. Okay, so we got all that. Then, yeah, we don't need more rods of fire. The equipment is good there. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. And then, yeah, now that I'm going to make her into a Catmancer, yeah, let's uh, give her some axes on the other slots there. I could equip her with dual wield, but I think having physical attack up uh, helps more because because uh, we already have max proficiency with a couple weapon types here. And let's see. And we're not going to have as many slots available either since I'm using a two-handed weapon at the moment. But even in the next dungeon, I'll be using the two-handed weapon anyway. Uh, let's see. What did we do? Ah, there we go. Power bracers. I would like to bring that over here now. And then let's see. With Magnolia... I think I probably still would want to give her the Rods of Fire. Yeah, why don't we go with that? There's going to be a lot of enemies weak to fire coming up here. And let's see. Yeah, for now, I'll leave her headpiece alone there. But eventually, I'll want to equip, like, triple wield and other things. And let's see. Let's go with Gale Hairpin there. Let's see, yeah, with the ninja garb, that'll be good for us. And then, let's see, for you, or for Tiz, yeah, we'll just give you the black belt, maybe uh, katana lore, eventually. But for now, let's leave that alone and rest up here. So I still need to get some more Rosalia's for the best year there. I don't think I've completed that yet. 
But because of the terrain we're going into next, we'll have different enemy formations there anyway. So let's see, what do we got? Yeah, I need at least a couple more of those guys to finish that off, but that'll be fine. But now that we have a little bit of a break between dungeons, let's play a little more Chumpcraft! Just a little bit, though, this time. There was one more song that I wanted to unlock that I uh, didn't get around to before. So let's see, for this one... Yeah, let's get that going. And then wait a few seconds. Okay, go like that. Try to get those three synchronized there a little bit. And that'll be good. So let's see, for the song that I want to unlock, I need 24 green chompers at 120 CP per chomper there. And unfortunately, even with a rare rate of 4%, it's still pretty likely that one of them will end up not being a green chomper, and that'll throw away the 50% all green bonus that I would get. So it can be a little tricky. You might also notice that the uh, snack time button there isn't charging up as fast as it used to before. Okay, yeah, I need to sell and try again. But yeah, let's uh, get all these back up and running there. So the reason the snack time button or gauge isn't charging up as fast as before is because we got the ultimate snack now and it takes a lot more to totally fill up the gauge there but that's okay that gives me more time to try and unlock more songs here unfortunately i still can't unlock the florum background music for some reason it seems really odd that i can't unlock that one you only need 100 well you need exactly 120 cp in order to make that one happen but yeah i tried doing that and still couldn't do it so we'll just uh try again here just keep uh well sooner or later i'll get that all unlocked or get this song moving but well i'll see what i can do man i'm having really bad luck with the chompers there though I mean, at least they're screwing me over early so I can have a chance to keep on filling up the tray there before uh, the snack gauge is full. Once that happens, then I'm going to cut some things out. Or then I'll just uh, get go along with that. But otherwise, yeah, just keep on upgrading your tools there. Okay, we're doing a little better this time. But yeah, I want to try and keep those synchronized as much as possible if I can. So far, so good. Usually, it seems like if I'm getting a rare chomper, you will hold up that color so i'll know right away before it even lands in the tray there seems like the rare chompers have priority as to whatever you displays there okay so we got the snack gauge filled up but i want to wait before using that if i can so it'll stay there it's not like use it or lose it or anything we'll be fine okay yeah that's not uh working out there Okay, we might as well sell everything now. We're not getting the song today, unfortunately. But uh, wait for the timer to get down to six seconds. Then use the snack gauge. And we'll be good to go. So yeah, fill up 15 slots in the tray there. And we unlock another song. Let's see, with that one, that one requires between 9,000 and 10,000 chomps to unlock there so yeah i mean because i'm filling up more than half of the tray at a time now i'd rather just sell what i've got then 
rather than getting the next bunch. Because if I get 15, but I only have 9 slots left, I'm going to lose, like, 6 of them. They just get discarded. So, I want to get as much as I can out of each one. Because you really only get a 5% boost for uh, filling out the entire tray. Maybe I should have done that here, but I didn't. But, uh, oh, right, we unlocked yet another song there. Let's see, so we got... Let's see, this one requires between 17,000 to 19,000 chomps to unlock this one. So basically, as far as, like, big songs go, yeah, we might as well quit out of here. We're done with the snacks. But yeah, as far as the big songs go, it's pretty difficult to unlock a specific song, even if you know what you've got there. But there are ways of doing that that I'll go over later in the game. For now, we're done with our business here. We're all rested up and ready to go. So, yeah, like, uh, yeah, like Agnes is saying there, we gotta head to the Tangita Forest to the northeast there. Yeah, I mean, how could anyone not know about them? Hmm. But, uh, well, we'll find out, won't we? Let's head on over there, then. So, new dungeon coming up here, eventually. I would like to get over to the forest area as quickly as possible to meet up with some new enemies over there. I think I made it. Yeah, okay, we made it. And we found a new enemy here, Granny Appling. They are, yeah, basically the same as the ones that we encountered before but yeah i mean they're weak to fire lightning dark they can inflict or no they can't inflict the status on you so don't worry about it but let's see to deal with these guys they've got pretty good physical defense so i could either have tiz or, or you and or magnolia get the job done here i would like to examine them Let's see. Well, you is pretty slow. So how about we do this? Uh, let's go... Heat, heat, needle. That'll be good enough. But maybe throw another one on there just in case. And then have either Tiz or Magnolia examine them. I think Magnolia would be ideal here. So I can save my BP for, like, wanton destruction. And Mimic or something. Very nicely done. Okay, we can take on a few more of them. Let's see. So, I could use four bomb fragments to take them down, especially since I don't need to examine them anymore. I would really like to hang on to my bomb arms as much as possible because a lot of enemies coming up are going to be weak to fire. But I don't mind throwing some bomb fragments. Okay, so we got that. Yeah, we'll just leave the rest alone. Yeah, there's quite a few enemies that are difficult to find outside of the forest, if at all. So, I kind of like how they split it up here like that. And, let's see, I don't think I've met Katana Guards, or Imperial Katana Guards. But let's see, with those guys, yeah, nothing too special about them. So let's see, They're, they are weak to lightning, just like the Iron Man is. Hmm. But I've already used all my magic and stuff. So let's see, how about... Let's see, let's save Tiz for a bit later. Yeah, if I use the magnifying... Oh, no. Try that again. Hmm. Actually, though, Mimic would be nice to have here. What do I got on Tiz there? Let me double check. Let's see. Okay, good. I got you on the knuckles there. So, yeah. How about we do this? Let's go examine the Katana Guards. Get a Wanton Destruction in there. Then a couple Mimics. That should be enough to take all of them out. Pretty easily, actually. 
Yeah, you would have been more ideal for this battle. But we got them all the same. Hooray! Woo, brave attack. Nice. Okay, so, yeah, basically same thing as before. Let's see. I could toss two Pantheon's Wraths to kill them all and stay out of negative BP, but I'm not that desperate for consecutive battles. So how about we just go Wanton Destruction and then maybe a few Tramples to finish off anyone that survives. Yeah, look at that damage. Nicely done. A brave attack would be really nice here. But instead we find a new enemy, Nepenthes. Yeah, they can poison you. Uh, do not use physical attacks on them because, at least I think it's this variety, they like to steal your weapon with ensnare or something. Or maybe that's just a paralysis effect. Well, whatever it is, uh, you, they, would, they have like guaranteed evasion to with the first physical attack you use on them so uh yeah don't you don't do it maybe if i have another opportunity later i can show that but for now how about we just go magnifying glass let's see these guys are weak to fire so yeah good heat heat needle that'll get the job done they don't even have that much hp there's another variety of these guys one of their cousins that i think inflicts or basically just swallows a party member and they're considered out of battle for well the remainder of the battle so that can be pretty annoying but i forget which one is which because i don't let them live long enough to do all that but yeah we probably should heal up after that one i think that's all the new enemies on the overworld around here anyway Okay, then we got that. Okay, yeah, only Tiz took a little heat there. Okay, so... Well, I don't need to examine any more enemies. Maybe I could switch over to Cat Nancy for a little bit. For little utility. Maybe if I need some healing, I could get a White Wind on the party. White Wind is really good for healing. But let's see, before going to the Sagita area, let's pick up a little treasure up here. And why don't we stay up here? Actually, hold on a sec. Let's save and then try to get into a battle. And let's see if we can find some more new enemies around here. Okay, so with these guys, let's see. Why don't we have Tiz work his magic with Wanton Destruction and Mimic? That should be more than enough to get the job done, I think. One more. Okay, two more. Very nice. A little bit overkill there, but... Well, we kind of needed it, I guess. Okay, so let's see. With these guys, why don't we do the same... Well, maybe not the exact same thing with the idea, but... Let's go Wanton Destruction, and then a couple Tramples. To... Yeah, take out the survivors there. I like to hold on to my or, well i like to use my physical attacks early in a chain of consecutive battles because of nepenthes around here but we can still take them out pretty easily uh let's see why don't we have magnolia get the job done i think with a bunch of bomb fragments there actually now that i think about it i think these guys when you attack them and they guarantee dodge, I think they take your armor as well. I don't know if they take your accessory, too. I, I, I would imagine they give it back to you. But all right, here we go. We got another new enemy, Poison Moss. Guess what status ailment they inflict on you? If you say Dread, I'm going to hit you. No, no, they can poison you, uh, your entire party. So you want to watch out for that. But otherwise, yeah, these guys should be pretty easy to take out. Let's examine them. And then, just like most flying enemies, they are weak to wind. So, double tornado needle. That should be enough to get the job done. Yeah, they don't have that much HP. If you don't encounter them here, though, they are encountered in another region a little later in the game. 
So you don't need to necessarily fill up your bestiary now, but with everyone at negative four BP, no way I'm going to be fine fighting another random battle around here. I think that'll be good enough for today there. But can we find the forest of the Sagita? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second and Lair. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!